you should be concerned about this project. Are we at the risk of another nuclear meltdown? You won't believe what France is building. Electricité de France, or EDF, is introducing a 1,570 megawatt European pressurised water reactor, or EPR, to the existing Flamanville nuclear power plant in Normandy, France. This addition, known as Flamanville 3, represents the inaugural development of a third generation reactor within the nation. The Flamanville 3 initiative is a significant component of EDF's comprehensive investment strategy, which is geared towards the replacement of 58 existing reactors with advanced EPR nuclear reactors starting from the year 2020. This will mark the inaugural introduction of an EPR reactor, a product of the collaborative design and development efforts of Arriva and EDF. The facility will be outfitted with Alstom's Arabel steam turbine, a state-of-the-art solution that is optimally compatible with nuclear reactors ranging from 900 megawatts to 1,800 megawatts. The turbine is projected to maintain an impressive reliability rate of 99.96% over a span of more than 400,000 operational hours. Furthermore, the project is anticipated to utilize approximately 32 metric tons of uranium oxide, or UO2, annually, with the goal of generating a net output of 1,570 megawatts. The Flamanville nuclear power plant, situated in Flamanville, Manche, France, on the Cotentin Peninsula, houses two pressurized water reactors, or PWRs, with a capacity of 1.3 gigawatt electrical each. These reactors were commissioned in 1986 and 1987 respectively. In 2005, the plant generated 18.9 terawatt hours of electricity, contributing to 4% of France's total electricity production. By 2006, this contribution had decreased to approximately 3.3%. At that time, the plant employed 671 workers on a regular basis. Construction of a third reactor, an EPR unit, commenced in 2007, with plans for it to become commercially operational in 2012. However, as of 2020, the project has exceeded its initial budget fivefold and is significantly delayed. Concerns regarding the quality of the steel used in the reactor have also been brought up. In 2019, the commercial operation date was deferred to the end of 2022. Further delays were announced in January and December 2022, with the fuel loading process now extended to early 2024. Work began on a new reactor, Flamanville 3, on December 4, 2007. This unit, an Arriva European pressurized reactor type, is expected to have a nameplate capacity of 1,650 megawatt electrical. Initially, EDF projected the cost at 3.3 billion euros and anticipated commercial operations to commence in 2012, following 54 months of construction. As of July 2020, the cost estimate has risen to 19.1 billion euros and commissioning is tentatively scheduled for the end of 2022. On December 3rd, 2012, EDF reported that the estimated cost had increased to 8.5 billion euros, which is about 11 billion dollars, and the completion of construction was postponed to 2016. Subsequently, the Italian power company, Enel, announced its withdrawal of its 12.5% stake in the project, along with five future EPRs, and it would be reimbursed for its project stake of 613 million euros, plus interest. In November 2014, EDF announced a further delay in construction to 2017 due to component delivery delays from Arriva. In April 2015, Arriva disclosed to the French nuclear regulator, ACN, that anomalies in the reactor vessel steel had been identified, leading to lower than expected mechanical toughness values. Several safety concerns have been highlighted, including the vulnerability of the steel utilized in the reactor and the heterogeneous nature of the steel alloy that forms the high integrity components of the reactor pressure vessel. These issues are also evident in components sourced from Japan that are part of the French nuclear equipment supply chain. The safety of the Flamanville EPR plant is under scrutiny due to the potential risk of flooding, similar to the incident at the Blaye nuclear power plant in 1999. In July 2015, the French Nuclear Safety Authority, or ACN, discovered multiple defects in the cooling system's safety valves. In September 2015, EDF reported that the projected costs had risen to 10.5 billion euros, and the reactor's launch was postponed to the fourth quarter of 2018. 
The setbacks in the construction of Unit 3 at Flamanville gained more attention when The Economist stated in December 2016 that the British loan guarantees for Hinkley Point C, another EPR nuclear power plant, necessitated that Unit 3 be operational by 2020. The regulator was expected to make a decision on the future Unit 3 in mid-2017. One potential consequence of this decision could delay its inauguration well beyond 2018, thus endangering the British loan guarantees and hindering EDF from building the EPRs at Hinkley Point. In February 2017, due to renewed delays in the construction of the EPR reactors at the Taishan nuclear power plant, EDF announced that the Flamanville 3 project was anticipated to commence operations by the end of 2018, contingent upon regulatory approval. In June 2017, the French regulatory authority provisionally declared that the Flamanville 3 was fit for operation. By January 2018, cold functional tests were successfully completed. However, in February, EDF discovered that certain welds in the secondary cooling circuit did not adhere to the specific standards, necessitating further inspections and a detailed report. Subsequently, the French Nuclear Safety Authority, or ACN, instructed EDF to expand the scope of the welding inspections to other systems, leading to a postponement of the hot functional tests. In July 2018, EDF further postponed fuel loading on the last quarter of 2019 and increased the project's cost estimate by an additional 400 million euros, which is about 467.1 million dollars. EDF's latest cost projections for the project stand at 10.9 billion euros or 12.75 billion US dollars, tripling the initial cost estimates. Hot testing was deferred until the end of 2018. As of January 2019, an additional one-month delay in hot testing was declared. In June of 2019, the regulatory body known as ACN declared that there were eight welds in the steam transfer pipes that penetrate the double wall containment. Electricité de France, EDF, had originally intended to repair these after startup. However, the ACN ruled that these must be addressed and resolved before the reactor could be commissioned. Subsequently, on June 29, 2019, it was divulged that the initiation of the reactor was yet again being deferred, making it highly doubtful that it could commence operations prior to the end of 2022. It has been estimated that the cost of these necessary repairs will add a hefty sum of 1.5 billion euros to the running total, thereby pushing the overall cost to a substantial 12.4 billion euros. The primary cause of the delay is attributed to the extended time frame required to rectify 110 defective welds. The completion of this process is now projected for August, a four-month extension from the original schedule, as stated by Alan Morvan, the director of EDF's Flamanville project, in a recent press conference. Currently, 70% of these welds are underway, with 12 already completed prior to the heat treatment process. Nevertheless, the company has identified additional challenges at the 1.6 gigawatt next-generation European pressurized reactor located on the Channel Coast. The firm also has outlined its strategies for addressing these issues, which include dealing with the corrosion of safety valves. The remarks, which were shared with the public, came following the company's previous announcements about a delay in fuel loading at the facility, pushing it back to the second quarter of next year, a revision from the initial plan concluding the process by the end of 2022. This postponement was largely attributable to the significant operational impact brought about by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic on their day-to-day -day functions. The decision to postpone the process at Flamanville was also influenced by EDF's commitment to incorporate key findings and recommendations from a thorough investigation into issues with the fuel rod cladding at China's Taishan 1. This was a point of concern clearly highlighted by the company itself. The Chinese reactor, a project in which the utility firm has a substantial stake, was engineered and constructed by the renowned French engineering corporation Framatome. Interestingly, the reactor possesses key specifications that are notably similar to those at the Flamanville EPR. This similarity was another reason why the insights from the probe at Taishin 1 were deemed crucial for the operations at Flamanville. In July of 2020, the French Court of Audit concluded an exhaustive 18-month detailed analysis of the project. The court's results suggested that the total estimate cost of this venture would scale up to a colossal 19.1 billion euros. These substantial delays have brought about additional financing expenses, not to mention supplementary taxes and imposts. In response to this audit, EDF did not challenge the findings of the court. Later in December 2022, EDF declared another setback of no less than six months, with an anticipated cost increase of 500 million euros. 
This was found necessary because of additional work to develop a new methodology for the stress-relieving heat treatment of specific welds situated near sensitive equipment. The schedule now forecasts fuel loading to commence in early 2024. With these added costs, the estimated total cost have now swelled to approximately 13.2 billion euros. That's it for today. When do you think this project will finally finish? Let us know down in the comments section. If you found this video intriguing and want to delve deeper into the future of construction, be sure to subscribe to the Uber Build.